In this video, I am going to compare two AI cold emailing tools, Page Inbox and the Outboundly, and both platforms available on the lifetime deal on the app Somo. And the best part, both pricing are the fifty nine dollars and coming out with the same plans and feature. So it's really confusing out there which AI cold emailing tool is best for you between them. So hey guys, this is Basant here, and welcome back to Sasko YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to compare the Reach Inbox with the Outwardly, so you can understand which AI cold emailing tool is the best for you, and you should go for it. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. I am doing this comparison after testing out both platforms for my industry and for my business, and after reaching the pinpoint, I get the experience. Which platform is the best for you and is going to be more valuable than anyone out there? So I'm going to talk about the first reach inbox, and I had divided this video into the three parts. First, I'm going to compare their UI user interface. Then I, I will talk about the different features which are available in the both platforms, and in the end, I will talk about what are the similarities and differences is available in the both platform. So it will be more easy to understand. You should go for which AI tool here. So without wasting any more time, let's get started in this video. So I also created this article here, the detailed comparison between the Reach Inbox versus the Outboundly dot AI. And if I scroll down below, you can see this is the side by side comparison. I have done it here. So here in the chart, you will find extensively which platform has the features and the other one don't have it. So I suggest you should also look out this side by side comparison while doing the comparing to uh, both platforms here. You can find the link in the description and in the end you will also find out which platforms have the better differences available. So you can instantly know here. So let me get to the platform here. This is the Reach Inbox. Once you got it, it's like the first platform that is available on the app. So much starting from the fifty nine dollars. And if I go to the Reach Inbox, I am going to talk about the both platforms user interface. So this is the user interface for the Reach Inbox. And here you will also find the dark mode available here. So this is the good part. If you uh, prefer more dark mode like me, you can just enable it here. So there are the four core features available. First one, we have the email accounts where you can connect your email accounts. The connecting part is really easy. Just click on the add new, and here different options available. You can use your Google Auth way to connect your Google Workspace. If you want to connect your Google Gmail account, you can also do it here. There's also the SMTP way and the IMAP way available here. That is the most easiest part. Uh, then we have the campaign section where you can start. Adding your campaign, just click on the add new and the name of your campaign, and after that you can do it with some configuration. For example, I have added these demo campaigns here, and if I open any of these one, you can see we have the leads adding options, we have the sequences, and there's also the AI email generator available. In this single click, you can use this AI email generator to generate the whole email or even the email sequences. You can add the multiple steps or the multiple follow ups in your mail. Also, do you can do that? Then this is the advanced scheduling options you can. Uh, see here, and you can also use its AI to automatically set to the campaigns for you. Then there's the other options available that you are going to use for your cold emailing. By uh, default, it will going to rotate all of your email accounts after the warm up. So this is the again good feature I have found it here. Then this is the one inbox. Suppose you have shown uh, send out your cold emails, you are getting the uh, replies. So it's really hard to managing them in the different email accounts. So what the uh, one inbox will do, you can uh, find out and then monitor all of the replies here, and you can even mark them whether this uh, prospect is in the lead page, interested, meeting booked, or the deal is closed. This is the thing. Then this is the last feature that is the analytics, and here you will find out all the detailed information and the insights about the cold emails, how many the open rates or click through rate you are getting. And if I click on the this profile icon, you here you will find out the setting. If I go to the integration, there are some integration parts I want to talk about. Like you are getting the integration with the Slack. I'm not the uh, kind investor in the Slack, so I am going to avoid it. But this thing I am really attracted. That is the Zapier integration and the Reach Inbox API. These both are is going to help me to connect with the different services and the apps and make me get more out of it. Uh, my old emails. Okay, so these are the main. Uh, uh, Features and the integration part I have talked about, and there's the one more feature that I really like in the Reach Inbox that is the connecting or creating the workspace. You can see I have created two workspaces. First one is my uh, uh my 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 core business, and second one is for my client or for my uh, freelancing work or for my different business. So that's how I can use this workspace section here. 
now let me compare it with the outboundly so this is the outboundly uh user interface and you can see it's pretty much really neat and please and there's also the dark mode available here but you have to go to the settings and there's if i go to the uh general settings and now let me compare it with the outboundly user interface so this is the dashboard it's pretty much neat and clean the one thing you will find it here there is no dark mode available so you always work to in the light mode there is no default way you are going to find it here this is the con you will find first thing then there are the all the core features available on the left side menu like the we have in the reach inbox and one thing i also find it missing here there is no uh work space you can create here you are only going to uh, get this default dashboard here you cannot separate it or diversify with creating the uh work spaces okay this is the another corner i have found it here then this is the campaign section where you can start uh scheduling or creating your campaigns there's also the ai uh template or the email generator that i have found it here for creating your sequence you can also create the multiple email sequences or the follow-ups here then this is the prospecting section where you can add your leads or you can select from the list here okay for example i have added this default list here and it will help me to understand better which emails i am getting here and there is the one other cool feature that i like it there's the email verifying feature available here you can see i need to just select the emails which i want to verify and click on the this verify uh button here and it will verify instantly and there's you can see this is the uh green icon you can see means these emails are the verified and any of them are the rejected and the blacklist it will be appear here then this is the schedule option you will you can start scheduling or sending out your email there's the email uh optimization feature available if you click here it is going to uh, optimize your campaign so it can get better uh lands in the inbox better uh, open rate or better click through rate then this is the prospect management basically you will find out all of your prospects or the contacts here you can create the multiple list for example this is the list i have created and i can just check out all the uh my leads available here or not okay then this is the inbox section and like the uh, we have uni unified inbox in the uh reach inbox this is the similar kind of the feature you will also find in the outboundly here you can find out all the emails replies you can mark uh you can manage them here but you cannot mark them like the links like the uh we have done it here in the reach inbox you can see there are the multiple categories available you can we can mark it as the interested meeting book but in the out corner there is no such kind of the feature available then this is the email accounts here you can connect your email accounts or add your email accounts you can verify them and you can also warm up them but to warm up you need to use their warmify account if i click any of these one let me open here and to start warm up you have to go to next feature this is the email warm up and here you can see uh our only is uh connecting with the warmify this is the basically kind of the two platforms in one interconnected so we have to go to the warmify to start warming up our emails and this is the other this advantage i have found it in this platform to the our only because here i need to start again connect my email accounts for warm up Okay, so I think this is the thing they should have to uh, solve because I don't want to again more uh, want my email accounts here because previously I have added here. You can see I have added the email accounts here, but in the while I want to warm up, I have to again connect here. So this is the another disadvantage I have found here. Then this is the last feature that is the templates. Basically, you can. use these templates or you can create your own templates and every time you are going to do the uh, cold out pitching with the same kind of the people you can use any of these templates okay so this is the good part and there's the one thing that i again find it missing there's the no uh, uh inbuilt or the dedicated analytics options available like we have here in the page in box but in the uh outboundly i have found it missing here this is the another great uh, thing that i wanted in the dedicated myself here okay uh, so if you if you want the more analytics part we have to go to this dashboard section and here we can check out the analytics like the open click through it okay there is no dedicated part then if i talk about the integration this is the integration feature there are the lot of the integration options available and compared to the reach inbox we have the multiple uh, platforms available like we can connect our open ai uh, this is the chat gpt company then this is the webhook this is the hubspot this is the pipe drive this is zapier pavlik connect and the amazon ses so we are getting the zapier and the pavlik connect this kind of the tools lets us to connect the multiple other apps and the services okay then this is the account setting option available here you can just 
configure the things like your email account, like the prospects fields, custom tracking. You want uh, uh, blacklist domain check out. There's the thing you can check it here. And this is the public API uh, access key. Find it easily available under the settings. And this is the uh, your profile setting options available here to check that out. Okay, so I have talked about now for the both platforms user interface and how their dashboard looks like. And pretty now I'm surprised that the reach inbox is the far much better. In the optionally, it is the neat and clean, but there are some things that are not available in the uh, optionally. That's why I suggest go with the reach inbox if you want the better user interface and there's the dark mode also available here. Okay, now let me talk about the different features here in the both platform. I have talked about the uh, in the user interface part for the different features. So there are the four core features available in the uh, uh, instantly and these are the four core features that is the covering everything here. But in the uh, outbound, there are the multiple uh features available also in the uh similar like the uh niche inbox we have but these are the different tasks okay like we have the prospect management individually we have the inbox section we have the emails and the warm-ups section individually we have the template section individually i think this makes it really easy to use and the neat and clean zero interface but i want to integrate it in this uh, same way that the reach inbox is giving us for the campaign, this is the campaign section, this is the one inbox, this is the email section and from the same email section, uh, I can just start warming up, I can check out this campaign stack and the settings or the connectivity things, okay? I don't want to do it with the separate, separate uh, ways here, okay? So this is the features you will find it in the out only, okay? And now let me talk about the both platforms, uh, pricing and the lifetime deal that is the available here and after that, I will come to the similar and the differences available here. Okay, so starting with the reach, it's box, it's lifetime deal available starting from the uh, $59 and if I go to the plans and features section, you will find it. These are the all the features you will get. I have talked it about in the uh, uh, user interface and the features part, but let me give you the overview. You will get the uh, webhooks and the integrations, you will get the magic email generator, you will get the advanced sequence and the variant generator, you will get the spin text generator, there's also the A-B testing and there's also the advanced email sequences and the variant you can generate and like I said, you can send all the emails and start sending out your campaign. So the tier one plan, you got the unlimited accounts. You can add for the VOPs, the unlimited emails or the campaigns. You can start sending up and there's the 5,000 monthly active leads. Means if suppose this month you have added the 5,000 leads in your cold emailing campaign, then the another month you can delete the previous one and start again with the fresh new email contacts for the cold email. Okay. So this is the limit you will got and in the tier 1 plan you can just create up to the one custom workspace and 3000 AI words credits for the email generation or the sequence generation you can start uh, using. Okay, so this is the limits you will get it here in the tier 2 plan you can see these limits for the active leads are increased and in the tier 3 plan these limits up goes up to the 50,000 monthly active leads. So if you want better or the higher credits for the active leads, I suggest go with the tier 2 or tier 3 plan. There's also the tier 4 plan available. It will give you the uh, 100k active leads and the 20 custom work spaces, 30,000 AI words for the per month, white labeling and the API access. So the tier 4 plan is the good for you. If you are going to manage your clients, offer your cold emailing freelancing services. That's why this tier 4 plan is available here. Okay, now let me compare it with the outbound because the outbound pricing is also same, just the $59 and if I go to the plans and features, most of the uh, features you will find it similar, like you will get the, uh, how you are going to connect your accounts, the email generator, there's the uh, warm-ups, these are the similar features you are getting here, but let me show you the worth it, friends. Here you can see, unlimited uh, campaigns you can send, unlimited email accounts you can add or the warm-up, but the difference is in the leads or the prospects credits or the limits you are getting. In the tier 1 plan, for the same pricing, we are getting just 3000 prospects or the limits we can add. And there's also the uh, how many prospects we are going to get. That's much of the amount of the email verification credits we are getting in the every plan here. For me, you can see the tier 1 plan, this is the 3000 prospects I can add and the 3000 prospects emails I can verify. Okay, I think this is the good. Then there are the 5000 monthly emails you can send. This is the limit you are getting here. In the uh, reach inbox, we are sent up to the unlimited uh, emails per month, but in the outboundly, we can send up to the just 5000. This is the pretty much low. If I want to do it, the sequence in the three part, then you can understand that I'm going to send the 9000 uh, emails for the 3000 prospect and I'm getting just the 5000. 
so this is the limits you are getting plus there are also the just five 500 monthly personalization credits and the 20 emails generation per month the limits are pretty low here same goes with the tier 2 and the tier 3 plan you can see here just the 50 uh 15 000 prospects and the 5000 email verification credit you are getting the 3000 email verification for the 3000 prospect in the tier 1 plan but for the 15,000 prospects, we are just getting the uh, 5,000 email verification. I don't know how they are plan their uh, uh, their deals here on the lifetime. Okay, I don't know that. In the uh, tier uh, three plan, you can see you are getting just the uh, 10,000 email verification for the 30,000 prospect. And here you are going to get the unlimited email accounts and the unlimited email okay sorry i, I just missed uh, it here here you are getting the 4000 email personalization credits and the uh, 100k email uh, sends per month so this is pretty good for the compared to the tier 1 to tier 3 okay and there's also the other tier plans available like the tier 4 and the tier 5 i think the tier 5 plan is good for you if you are going to sell out your cold emailing services or offering the freelancing using the cold uh, outboundly.ai Okay, so I have compared the both platforms lifetime deal and after that I honestly get to know that the inbox is far better compared to the outboundly because we are getting the most uh, credits here, unlimited emails accounts we can send and there are the far much better features we are getting here. Okay, so now let me show you what are the similarities and what are the differences. So if I go back my article here, you will find the link in the description for this detailed comparison and if I go to this section here similarities between outboundly versus the reach inbox these are the similarities both offer the unlimited email sending okay don't uh, unlimited email accounts uh, adding up and the warm up webhooks and unified inbox and there's also the email uh, generator in the both platform and these are the differences you will find it in the both platform okay so first outboundly ai is giving you the less prospect credits compared to the reach inbox okay because reach inbox almost opening you the two ways then no workspace you can create in the org only but reach inbox has this unique feature this is the really important feature by the way then org only uses the warmify platform that you have to uh, can connect your email account for the warmers okay but in the reach inbox this feature is inbuilt and is a lot easier to use while reach inbox don't have any in inbuilt email verifier this is the only disadvantage i have found it in the reach inbox there is no email verifier inbuilt here but are only offering you this winning uh, feature here okay and this is the only thing you will find it as the good part in the hour only okay then this is the another advantage i am or i want to talk about reach inbox has the spin tag generator this will help you to create the different email variations for the different units but out only don't also offer this amazing unique feature okay so these are the different uh features and the differences available in the both platforms and based on that i can say that range inbox is currently offering the best feature and the best value in their lifetime deal here so this is the winner you should go for it and by de uh, by declaring the winner the reach inbox i doesn't uh say here that our money.ai is the bad or the worst tool here for the cold email actually this is a pretty cool tool here but the only disadvantage and the most uh, this hardening thing i have found it here this prospect or the credits or the limits they are giving out this is the way below compared to the reach inbox that's why i am declaring the reach inbox winner in my case if you are going to test out the both tools the uh, results can be different so that's why it's always that you uh make it consideration carefully with tool you are going to choose but if you want my suggestion reach inbox is the winner here so that's all for today's video if you want to check out the reach inbox lifetime deal the link will be given in the description and if you use the new account to buy this platform you will get the 10 percent extra discount and also make sure you check out this comparison of the side by side article the link will be also in the description for this article of this video okay so bye bye take care and i will see you in the next one and regularly i create new these kind of these sash tools and the comparison videos on my channel so this is the channel you can also consider subscribing and getting updates regularly on the different and the unique sash tools or the online platforms or the software you can see these are the really cool tools for example this is the best uh, one click uh, video editor i have recently reviewed you can check out this video to get started so bye bye take care and i will see you in the next two